What is up guys, Tech James here. This was actually a requested video. What we're going to be doing is testing out the new save state plugin made by the Flow. This plugin is known as Deja Vu. So what I'm going to do to explain this more, I'm going to go on my computer and I'm going to show you guys the latest Wololo article which kind of tells us a little bit about it. I'll also show you the main plugin GitHub um, just so we can learn how it works and basically what it does. And then we're going to use Auto Plugin 2 to actually install it. You should be able to install it using Auto Plugin 1 as well. But let's go on my computer, I'll show you guys what it does and then we can actually get to testing it out. So before we install it, we should read a little bit about it. So we're just over on wololo.net and they've actually made an article about Deja Vu made by The Flow. So this is a save state plugin and um, it actually basically sums it up here pretty well. So let's read about it. It says, like save state functionality and emulators, this plugin works by taking a snapshot of the contents in RAM and then loading them back whenever you wish, allowing you to save at a point in the game where saving isn't normally allowed. Um, so if you don't really understand, and let's say you're playing a game, I don't know, any game would work, I don't know, Minecraft. Um, what you can actually do is just play some random point in the game and then save it. Actually, maybe Minecraft isn't the best example. Maybe you're playing like a fighting game like Tekken or something and um, you're at, like in the middle of a fight. Um, I guess it would actually work in there. So obviously if you're in the middle of a fight, you're not really supposed to save the game. Um, but it should actually allow you to because it's going to take a snapshot of the RAM. Obviously we will test it out in this video and see what happens. As a result, it could make games more enjoyable since you won't have to restart levels in some games if you miss a jump or get killed yourself. That's, mm, that's actually quite interesting. Furthermore, this plugin may be also useful for developers as it may allow one to temporarily update slash downgrade their firmware to test homebrew plugin compatibility. Wait, would that actually work? That's crazy, I actually did not think of that. Um, of course it's working in games. Maybe we'll have to try that in another video and see what happens. I guess we can just focus on games for this one. Now there is a bit of an issue with it. Well, not really an issue, but it can take 400 to 500 megabytes um, each RAM snapshot. So yeah, that could fill up your SD card quite quick if you're doing this on multiple games. Um, that's why I'm just gonna test it on one game for this video. Um, and there's also some kind of like explanation of right here of how you can actually get it to work. While Deja Vu sounds like a plugin you should get right now provided you have enough storage, it's important to mention um, it's in experimental mode. So yeah, that could um, cause some issues. And um, they're also saying you could corrupt your memory card or SD to Vita. Um, I hope you don't because that could be um, quite a disaster. You might have to re reinstall some stuff. Um, but we're going to try it anyway. So if you don't want to follow along the video, um, you can just see what it does on mine. Obviously, some people might be a bit nervous of corrupting something. And of course, it's on version 0.1. So bugs have always got to be expected when it's on such an early firmware version. It also says here, if these caveats don't scare you and you have a secondary PS Vita, um, you can always test it. So that, me that might be quite a good idea. Um, I do have the PS Vita and PS TV, so maybe I can test it on both. Um, but let's go back onto my PS Vita. Let's launch up Auto Plugin. I think I'll use Auto Plugin 2 and we can install it and try and get it working. Now I just realized um, on the GitHub, um, the official flows GitHub, um, the um, Deja Vu plugin, it does actually make a bit more sense. Um, they've actually written it here a lot better than what it says on Wololo. So you do actually have to press three buttons at the same time. Um, so you have to hold R, then you use one of these slots. They've got six slots in total. Maybe there are more in the future, I don't know. And you also have to press the PS button and um, it's actually gonna save it in a save states folder on your UXO. So we're definitely gonna try this. Let's go and install it with auto plugin and then we can basically see how it works. Okay, so I think we can test it out now. Um, you can launch up Auto Plugin 1, I've also got that installed, or you can launch up Auto Plugin 2, both is perfectly fine. So let's start Auto Plugin 2, and then we can find the plugin, and then we can install it, and then basically see if it works. Auto Plugin 2 did have an update today, so if you guys want to update it, make sure your Wi-Fi is connected. But let's go into the Vita plugins, install plugins, and we are going to find it in here. Um, Let's just have a look. It should be fairly near the top. In fact, I think I might have passed it already. Oh, here it is. It's a bit, you have to scroll down a bit. But it's called Deja Vu Vita Safe State Plugin by the Official Flow version 0.1. So expect some errors. And it also gives us um, like a line of text down here, which basically explains what it does. So what we're going to do is select where our tie folder is on our UXO or URO. Mine is on my URO. So what we're going to do, we're going to press X on it. It's going to say, please wait, plugin has been installed. We're then going to press start 
and we're going to restart our PS Vita and once we load up our custom firmware it should be working. Okay, so let's just go on our PS Vita, and then what we're going to do is just launch our custom firmware. Um, I'll just skip this step. I'm sure most of you guys run Enso anyway. I just use this because it's you know easier if I want to test something. Okay, and now the plugin should actually be running. So the next step is to choose something to actually test the plugin in. Uh, I think I'm just going to try a random game. Um, I know in Adventure Time, um, if you restart it, um, you, it will bring you back to like the start of the level, if that makes sense. So I think I'm just going to go in some random place in the game, and then we'll actually be able to test it out. Okay, so what we're going to do, we are going to go onto my main kind of like profile and then we're just going to like run somewhere random in the game. Um, basically, if I was to restart the game right now, um, it would always take me here. So what I'm going to do, let's just run somewhere. Um, actually, maybe what we could do, maybe we can go in this building. So let me just take out this kind of like creepy guy. Let's go in this building right here, uh, peanut building apparently. And what we can do is try and save it in here. So what we have to do, we have to hold right. We have to hold the PS button and select. So what we're going to do, we're going to hold the right one down. That is for save. And I'm going to press select and the PS button. And what that is going to do is actually um, save the save state for us. Um, but we have to wait 40 seconds. So I'm going to wait 40 seconds right now. And then um, once it's done, I think we're supposed to restart our PS Vita once it's done. And then we can load up the game again. And then we're going to try L. So we'll do the same thing um, but left um, because left is load. Okay, so just a note, um, your screen will be black, don't worry about that. And when it's done, um, it will actually go back to the lock screen. But one thing you don't want it to do is kind of like turn itself off. Um, so I'd recommend like tapping the screen and stuff like that. Um, obviously, you don't want it to like, you know, go into that um, standby mode. I think that's what they call it. Um, so there you go, it's back on the lock screen. And uh, I guess it restarted. And there you go, we're actually still in the game. Now, wait, so if it restarted, is my custom firmware still running? I guess it is. Um, I also want to start up Vita Shell, and I want to show you guys that um, if I load into Vita Shell, I want to show you guys where the save states are saved, just in case you want to delete them. So we go into the UXO, and you look for the save state folder somewhere in here. Let me just find it. Okay, guys, so I just realized something. Um, they said in the guide that it saves it to your UXO, um, but it's not true. If you have an SD to Vita, it will, in fact, save it to your UMA0. So if you're the flow that's watching this, I guess you could add this to the GitHub. Um, but yeah, if you are using a um, SD to Vita, you need to go inside your UMA0, which is your official memory card, and then you can find the save state folder in there. So if we go into it, there it is. It's just called um, state select, depending on what button you pressed, dot bin. And as you can see, it's 460 megabytes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to load it. So let's go into Adventure Time. And let's start it up. And when we load it, we should be back in the, um, the peanut house. I don't know, whatever that thing is. And um, yeah, once we load it, it should spawn us back there. Instead of starting us at the start of the level, I know it wasn't the best example of a game to play, um, but I just thought it'd be a simple one so everyone can kind of get the idea of it. So I guess we go and play game, um, and then we can load back into my file. And then we should be able to kind of like load it up. Oh, this is also a good example. If you guys just watch, you know, after a second, it will put me back here at the start. But obviously we don't want to be at the start. We want to be back in the house. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing. But this time we're holding L left for load. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hold that. We're going to press select and the... Um, home button, PS button, and then again we're going to wait the 40 to 60 seconds. Obviously make sure your device doesn't turn off, you know, make sure to kind of move the analog sticks, tap the screen a bit. Um, so yeah, when we wait, then it will bring us back onto the lock screen again, and hopefully uh, this time we're going to be inside of the house, and hopefully it should be working. Okay, so here we are at the lock screen, and there you go, it works, very cool. Um, hopefully my game hasn't frozen. Wait, what's happening? I think it's okay. There you go, the game hasn't frozen. I think that might be a menu feature. Yeah, that makes sense when I press select. So maybe in some games, select is a feature, so it might bring up some kind of menu when you restart it. Um, but it should be loading fine. Now, I'm going to delete my save state because I don't really want a 400 megabyte save state, you know, just when I've moved a few seconds on the map because that's pointless. Uh, but that was just an example for the video. And there you go, guys. This plugin is very good. Just be careful with it. If you do get any errors or your memory card is corrupt, 
please don't go ahead and blame the flow because um, he clearly said it's in you know very early modes and of course this software is free for everyone to get but that's pretty much it if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one